What's up guys, Open Ice Hits with Scotty 2 Hockey, let's talk Habs, and today, let's get into part 2 of potential picks the Montreal Canadiens could take with their pick in this year's draft. Now, I'm just going to assume that they're going to pick 8th overall in this year's draft, taking the lottery out of it, uh, whatever way they're going to go about it, because due to this COVID stuff, the draft is definitely going to be different, the lottery is definitely going to be different, but just assuming Montreal picks where they stands right now in the 8th spot, uh, the second guy I think they could take is a very, very talented winner. Montreal has loaded the prospect pools with the prospect pool with centers and young defensemen over the past few years. So in this draft, I think they may be looking to stock up some quality depth on the wing. And one young prospect that could be a major addition to Montreal's top six forward core down the road or as soon as next year if he gets drafted by Montreal is Alexander Holtz. The dynamic sniper could be the steal of the draft if still available in the eighth spot or wherever Montreal picks. Holtz shined at the 2020 World Junior Championship this year despite his Team Sweden only winning bronze, scoring three goals and two assists, and that was being one of the youngest players on Sweden. At only 18 years old now, he has showed a vast array of skills and hockey IQ beyond his years in the Swedish Elite Hockey League where he plays to now. Out of all the picks that Montreal could make, as far as future potential goes, outside of the top three players that are locks to be picked in this year's draft, I think Holtz has just as high of a ceiling as any of these young players. Tons of potential, ton of potential when it comes to Holtz. He's only 18 years old. He only recently turned 18 this year. He was born January 23rd, 2002. He's from Sweden. He was born in Sweden. He's six foot tall. Some sites have him listed at 5'11". He's 183 pounds. His position is right wing, and he shoots right. He's ranked really high by some uh, some scouts and some sites. Uh, NHL Central Scouting has him ranked at number two amongst all prospects, so they think he should go number two in the draft over players like Byfield. Uh, EliteProspects.com have him at number six, and ISS Hockey have him at number nine. Everything I'm reading indicates this guy is a lock to go in the top ten. His draft stock really, just like Jack Quinn, the guy who I did before this video, his draft stock really jumped a lot this year, and it's not so much his stats that make him stand out. It's his actual game when you watch him play, when you watch what he can do. His stats don't fly off the sheets by no means compared to some prospects. He don't have 50 goals because he's not playing in the OHL. He's playing in the Swedish Elite Hockey League. He's playing with a different caliber of player, a different style of hockey. He's nowhere near 50 goals, but as far as skill goes, this guy has all the skill in the world. And as far as weaknesses goes, I couldn't find a lot of weaknesses for this guy. I'll get into his strength first. As far as his strengths, I wrote down, has the potential to step into the lineup right away as, far, as soon as next year after he gets drafted, and that's according to most scouts and analysts. Most scouting reports say this guy is going to be ready to go and ready to play in the NHL as soon as he gets drafted, as soon as he steps into the league and gets a shot. He has an elite hockey sense that's wise beyond his years. He has great speed, quick hands, an incredibly accurate wrist shot. And one thing that stands out about this stands out the most about this guy to me is his slap shot is so heavy. For a winger, he has an absolute bomb from the blue line from wherever he shoots. His slap shot is very, very heavy. He has one hell of a shot and a very accurate slap shot. As far as weaknesses goes, I looked at all of his scouting reports. I, I looked at him play. I watched a nice bit of game footage on this guy. I've listened to analysts talk about him, and there really doesn't seem to be many weaknesses with this kid. It, it really ups his draft stock, in my opinion. But I, I had to nitpick a little bit and write down some weaknesses, so I wrote down, needs to work on ability and to control the puck and maintain possession on certain areas of the ice. He does get knocked off the puck easily in his own zone when he's really pressured but most of the time he's he's still pretty good in that category like I say I'm just nitpicking trying to find some weaknesses there's not a lot with this kid and I wrote down he's very young and inexperienced he only turned 18 this year uh, on the team he's playing he's one of the youngest players on Sweden this year in the world juniors he was one of the youngest players but he still shines bright no matter who he's playing with so he's absolutely excellent um as far as his stats go, in the World Junior Tournament this year, in seven games played, he had three goals, two assists, five points, had an even plus minus, and two penalty minutes, and his team won bronze. In the Swedish Swedish Under-20 Junior Tournament, so all the Swedish players that are under 20 play in a junior tournament, in 17 games played, he had five goals, 
four assists, nine points, six penalty minutes, and was a plus one. And this year in the Swedish Elite Hockey League for Duge Gardens, sorry if I'm butch butchering that name, Duge Gardens IF in six in 35 games played, excuse me, he has nine goals, seven assists, 16 points, was a minus one, and he has 12 penalty, penalty minutes. So as far as picks go this year, I have Quinn. And I have Holtz. I think they could take Quinn. And I think they could take Holtz. I have two more coming. I have a part three and a part four. Uh, if both of those guys were on the board, if Jack Quinn was on the board and Alexander Holtz was on the board, I think they would lean more towards Holtz than Quinn. Quinn did have this big breakout year in the OHL. He's one of the few guys, only two guys, I believe, to score 50 goals this year in the OHL. He does look like a phenomenal young prospect. But as far as the eye test goes, looking at both from play, uh, Holtz has better speed. He has more size. He has a more accurate shot, a heavier slap shot. His overall game seems better. And as far as a future goal-scoring sniper, like a future elite top six forward, I'm not saying he definitely has that potential but as far as getting to that potential someday i think holtz has a much better chance than quinn that's just my opinion if quinn was on the board and holtz was gone i think montreal should take him but holtz is definitely a guy montreal needs to keep their eye on for sure definitely has a ton of potential and from everything i've read from scouting reports and analysts and from what i can see of this kid's game He's going to be one hell of an NHL player one day. I really believe this guy's going to transition into the NHL well. Like the scouts were saying, I think he can come right out of the Swedish Elite Hockey League uh, and go right to the NHL and jump right into the lineup. Maybe not a top six forwards right away, but someday the potential, the ceiling is definitely there for this kid. So that's my number two pick. Uh, Alexander Holtz, I think the Montreal Canadiens could take him in this year's draft. Stay tuned for part three, part four. If you guys have any more suggestions, I could even make an extension and do a part five, part six. So let me know in the comments. This is Open Ice Hits with Scotty2Hockey. Have a great day wherever you're to. Stay safe. Over and out.